hey my loves welcome back to my channel so guys in today's video i'm going to be sharing with you guys my experience at the port of entry and also just tell you guys what you need to know at the uk port of entry if you guys don't know after you might have collected your visa and everything that is not the end of everything there's still one very last mountain that you need to climb and that is booking your ticket and coming right into the uk you guys need to know that it is not everybody that has the visa that is going to make it into the uk like to be honest so in today's video i'm going to be sharing with you guys what you need to know about the uk port of entry just sharing with you guys my experience basically and why you should not be scared so guys if this sounds like what you're interested in please continue watching this video but before we get right into that video hey guys my name is Busayo Banjoko and I recently just came to the UK for my masters I'm studying at the University of Brampton Southwest London so please make sure to click the subscribe button down below let's be friends like let's be friends click the subscribe button down below without much talking guys let's jump into today's discussion oh i love being a woman true that i saw her hair like the branch of a tree Most of the people that are watching this video maybe you just recently applied for your visa or maybe your visa is finally out congratulations i was in this stage about two months ago and i know how excited i was having to like apply for schools getting getting your cars doing in my case i had to write ielts if you want to know why i had to write ielts to come to the uk i'm going to link a video up here for you guys to see so that in that video i explained to you guys my process and how i did um my application process and why i had to write ielts if that sounds like what you're interested in you might just click on the video here to check out that video and also no don't go finish this video first and you go and watch that later maybe you probably have applied for your visa just like i said earlier uh, or you have your visa now and you want maybe you'll be hearing scary news because i was in your shoes about two months ago and i was hearing really really scary news about spot of entry about how they are sending people back to nigeria from uk post so i was really scared so um i'll be telling you guys my experience and also um just explain to you guys what why you should not be scared the very first thing you need to know is that don't be scared guys it is nothing to be scared of to be honest so my own experience was that the um when i got to the uk border the um uk border agent only asked me for my cars my cars and my unconditional offer that was the only thing only thing that the border agent asked of but i've heard a lot of people to talk about the border agents asking of telling them to open their banking app to be sure they have that proof of fund that didn't happen to me so that is why even if it doesn't it didn't happen to me it might happen to anyone watching this video uh, a friend of mine told me about this person and I, a, a friend of mine also actually was told to open a banking app like a bank app to be sure she had a proof of fund but this thing happened to me so yeah without uh, that being said I'm going to be telling you guys some of the documents that you need to have just have them handy in case they ask because the border agent didn't ask me for my bank statements does not mean they will not ask you just be prepared like i was so so prepared when i was coming to the uk because I, I i know the stress i passed through nobody is sending me back to nigeria i cannot even allow anybody to send me back to nigeria so yeah the very first document that you should have if you are coming to the uk like guys you should have these documents printed print them out in colored print them out, out in colored one of the things that helped me in my own was that also because i printed my unconditional offer in colored so the very moment the border agent saw the logo of my school he knew that i was like he knew i was legit he was like oh you're festive yeah so if you so make sure you print 
most of your documents in color so that they can easily identify this like they can easily identify the document so the very first document you should have is your cars make sure you print out your cars very very important like you might not even print out your unconditional offer but, but you see that cars it is very very important so number two document you should print out is your unconditional offer this document also is very very important make sure you print it out then after your cars print out your bank statements we can say they will not ask and they should ask you can say that they they will not do you get so print out your bank statements and make sure you have the money in your bank account it should be showing like i won't really talk much about it but i won't really talk much about that bank statement but a word is enough for the wise make sure your the money that you claim to have when you apply for your visa is inside your bank account in case they tell you to open it just like i said in the beginning of this video i was asked like a friend of mine was asked to open a banking app it was just god that saved her so yeah so make sure you have that money in your account let it show you should show your banking app they might tell you to open it like in there is that it is just one in like 10 people that they have asked like i've i think it is just two people that i know that this has happened to it didn't happen to me it didn't happen to a couple of my friends but it happened to one of my friends no they didn't tell her to go back to nigeria because god just saved her so yeah just make sure you are prepared so when i was coming when i heard about her because she traveled a day before me and she told me about what happened to her so guys i've not mentioned this but i feel everyone should know and the very first document is your passport that has like your visa in it that document is very very important like it's the first thing i should say in this video or well, i totally forgot to mention it first but the most important document is that your visa like your passport with your visa on it so because they are going to be checking it when you get to the border so you need that and after that also you need so i mentioned you need your passport your cars your unconditional offer and then after that you need your proof of accommodation maybe you've got an accommodation from your school or maybe you've got an airbnb make sure you print out that they might they really want to know that you have a place to stay in the uk so that it's soon be as if you are you're going to be sleeping in like they don't want somebody to come to their country to start sleeping in train stations under the bridge because the uk weather is very very cold it is cold in this country and no i don't think anybody can even survive sleeping under the bridge in this country so they don't want that they don't want people to come and die on their street so they want to be sure that you have a place to stay so make sure you book your accommodation maybe from your school airbnb anything maybe you just have a proof of address even if you are going to go and stay with your sister or something i will advise you to book an airbnb maybe for three days because it depends if your sister's place is like single one thing about the accommodation here in the uk is that they have rooms for like single people that you cannot bring friends you cannot bring anybody to that kind of accommodation so maybe your maybe maybe your sister wants to smuggle you in or something and they might get to know that that accommodation is meant to be for single people so to be on the safe side i would advise you to book like airbnb even if it's just for one day book airbnb for one day so yeah that is it and another those are the documents that you need to bring along with you when you're coming to the uk and make sure you don't pass these documents in your big bag like it has to be in your hand luggage because you're not going to be seeing your your luggage until like you pass the uk border into the uk so it has to be your handbag don't pass that like don't send it off to be passed to like their uh, luggage carrier i don't know how to explain it but just make sure you have that in your aunt bag and it is with you because you have your chance to like um you have chance to like have two bags two small small bags with you so yeah that is i feel like i hope you guys understand what i'm trying to say so a little bit of recap 
make sure you have all your documents have your cards have your passports have your proof of funds make sure you're showing your accounts then have your proof of address pull out the things you need basically and when you get to the border smile to the border agent just smile british like british people are very very nice people they are polite they are very polite people that is it like very very polite so just smile like just smile just be happy like i'm not saying you should start jumping up but don't shout to you don't like noise so just smile and um, yeah that is it so thank you guys i hope you guys learned it in or two and if you've gotten your visa congratulations i can't we can't wait to have you in the uk so and i feel like i haven't said this in this in the beginning of this video this part of entry experience is i came to the uk on the student visa and this everything i've said in this video is for people that are coming to the uk on a student visa so yeah thank you so much for watching and i'll see you guys in my next one bye